What's up everybody, it's Ivan with Trout's Fly Fishing, back with your bi-weekly fishing report and forecast. <laughs> Sitting in the friendly confines of Trout's Denver, a little too hot out there for me today. So I'm uh, letting it rip for the third tree week inside the, inside the, the old Trout's building. So uh, anyways, I want to talk about what's coming up in terms of fishing, how fishing has been. Uh, you know, we're seeing continuing dropping water, although we, you know, on some of the tailors we've seen some bumps here and there, um, but for the most part, water's coming down and we're continuing to get really, really good hatches, not only on our tail waters, but also on the free stones. Um, free stones, hopper dropper, double dry, streamers will all get it done. You can certainly nymph, um, but why would you want to nymph when you get some good top part of eats? Uh, so chubbies, hippie stompers, simulators, um, Amy's ants, any big foam or big floaty fly will uh, you know, be your you know, good sort of point fly and then drop off uh, hot belly PT, hair's ear, dirty bird, um, you know, UV sallies, big zebra midges, you know, anything like that and you know, you'll put fish in the net. So uh, hopper droppers fishing is really good, streamer fishing's <coughs> Going to be good with the higher water. Uh, you know, fish are going to be a lot more active and willing to move to, to flies there. You can always throw double drives because cats are present. We're seeing you know yellow, some yellow sally activity. Um, you know, PMDs still here and there, um, and I mean that's a recipe for throwing a big dry with you know like a Elkhart caddis or Z or x caddis or whatever it might be, you know, big parachute, big parawolf uh, as your second fly and you know, putting fish in the net. So, uh, free stones fishing really well. Looking at the flows, eagles down to like 533 at Avon. Uh, Colorado's at 150, uh, 1530 I should say. Arkansas is at uh, 1050 and honestly, I mean, the upper arc's in good shape. Fishing with double dries, it's a really good time to be out, out on the free stones. The same thing goes for you know the high country. You're starting to see you know fish really put uh, put on the feed. They're on the feed, I should say, not put it on the feed. What's that mean? Who knows what I'm talking about? But they're on the feed, so they're eating quite well. Hippie stompers are always a, a go-to for me in the high country, uh, followed by some classics, whether it be parallels, trudes, um, you know, what have you. So. Royal Wolf. You can always do dry, dry droppers in the high country as well, but again, if you're fishing fish a small creek, those fish are going to be eager, put them in little pockets, uh, you know, fish will rise and, and eat most anything this time of year. So uh, that's a good, that, those are in good shape. Uh, when it comes to the tailwaters, um, Decker's cheesing like 480, 11 mile 213, Dreamstream just got bumped back up to 313. Uh, but trichos are starting to become more important on those free, on those tailwaters, I should say. Uh, so trichos in the morning, um, you know, caddis, you know, in the afternoon, um, you know, still seeing PMDs, and then on Decker's Cheeseman, Golden Stones um, are playing a big role. And so you know, throwing, you know, an Amy's Ant, throwing, you know, Chubby Chernobyl, throwing a Stimulator, um, PMX, Hippie Stomper. I mean, honestly, think think of a think of think of anything that represents a golden stone or a big hopper, and I'm sure we'll get eats this time of year. I just have to find the right water um, and find you know that slower water where fish are going to be able to see see that you know big morsel coming down and make a decision uh, relatively quickly in, in, in that window. So. Um, Otherwise, you know, as I said, trechos are important, so the subsurface, midges, PMDs, BWOs, trichos, caddis, sallies, golden stones, leeches are all super productive right now. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's really take your pick. Have, I think I said this last time, make sure your fly box is stocked well because this is the time of year where fish will key in on one thing or another uh, during the course of the day. And so you, you might not get a consistent, uh, you know, trico bite and that might only happen in the morning, but you know, the caddis will become more of a factor into mid to midday and into the afternoon. Same thing goes with Sally's like on the dream, on the dream last week. And uh, trichos were really good in the morning. Saw a lot of trichos, spinners and stuff like that. And, 
you know, saw fish, found fish rising to those uh, trichos in the morning. That sort of calmed down midday and saw a lot of sallies. We didn't see the fish tune into the sallies quite as much, um, but I mean, that's only a matter of time. So uh, that could be timing, that could be the day, what, what, what might, whatever it might be. But the you know, sallies being present, you know, a little smaller, um, you know, chubbies, smaller stimulators will do well, but then also remember hoppers are out. So uh, bigger chubbies, bigger hippie numbers, bigger stimulators um, through the riffles will, will produce fish. So uh, you're seeing fish sort of everywhere, especially uh, on those tailwaters um, where they have a little bit more room to, to roam and there's you know, little micro environments and stuff like that. Uh, they'll you know, slide into the riffles and the like. Um, you know, on the freestone side of it, like, you know, I fished the Eagle like, like a couple weeks ago and, and, um, and then the Arkansas last week. Uh, a lot of the stuff, the water's still relatively high, so a lot of those fish were sort of stacked up on the sides, on those soft sides, um, on the inside and outside of the, of the main current, uh, and that's where I was finding most fish. So, um, for the most part, you know, boundary water, and then a couple of those shallow riffles will hold fish. Just need to find the right water speed, to be honest. Um, find the right water speed. And a lot of times that turbulent water can actually be slower than you think. So as long as you have a fly that's buoyant enough, uh, you know, floating it through some of the rougher stuff can, can get eat. So yeah, fishing's really good. You should go fishing.